Welcome to the physics unit. Physics is the study of motion. But what is motion anyway? Motion is a change in position. To know if you're moving, you need a frame of reference. A good frame of reference is an object that is not moving. For example, you know this plane is moving to the right by comparing it to the items on the ground, like this tree. A frame of reference is whatever you're comparing a moving object against. There are three ways to measure motion, speed, velocity, and acceleration. You can measure speed with a speedometer, but to measure velocity, you need a speedometer and a compass. To measure acceleration, you need a moving speedometer needle or compass needle. Let's use the roller coaster as an example. To measure speed, you want to know how fast it travels. Velocity measures how fast or slow and in what direction. And acceleration measures how quickly or slowly it's speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. In everyday language, speed and velocity are used interchangeably. But for science class, we need to know that technically, velocity includes direction. Watch out for this on quizzes. Acceleration is a change in velocity. Usually people only think of this as speeding up, but don't forget that acceleration could also mean slowing down or changing direction. Because remember, velocity isn't just your speed, it's your speed and your direction. Let's try some examples. Here we have Mickey. He is traveling at 20 meters per second. Anytime you see that M slash S, you say that as meters per second. What do you think this is a measure of? His speed, velocity, or acceleration? Did you say this was Mickey's speed? If you did, you're right. This tells us how fast Mickey was going without his direction, making it his speed. This is Bert. He's traveling at 30 meters per second, up, down, and around. Is this Bert's speed, his velocity, or his acceleration? If you said that this was Bert's velocity, you're right. This is because it includes both his speed and his direction. He also happens to be accelerating because his direction is changing, even though his speed is not. Let's try one more example. Emily is about to gain two meters per second of speed every second as she heads downhill. Is this an example of her speed, her velocity, or acceleration? If you said this is an example of Emily's acceleration, you're right. It is because it shows how much speed she's picking up each second and in a particular direction. If you're feeling a little confused, we're going to go over this more tomorrow in class, so make sure you write down any questions you have. Whoa! Random Panda!